This is actually wow. This is a really this is really nice. Oh crap. This is really nice. I don't know. I like a lot of people are upset with the Devin Fasel. I mean, it's not a lie. I, I think it would probably be if I just just a random number, but it's probably like 25% of people are like or spurs fans are like really like that's a little too much i don't think it is especially with the new cpa and i had no idea that it's going to decrease this much i was of the notion that it would be around 29 every single year um but it says there are 11 million in unlikely total bonuses so i don't know exactly what those bonuses are but this is not bad this is very team friendly and i i think just, just my opinion i think by 2025 uh, Devin Fassell will legitimately like we'll sit back and say okay we can go deep in the playoffs with him as like a third option um, we're nowhere near ready um, as far as like the team you know being ready for like a playoff series or playoff run or anything like that but this this is this is nice him him and Keldon took on some great deals for us um, and by the way here let me bring up Kelly Johnson's salary and I, I think we all would agree that Devin Fassell is worth way more than Keldon, right? Let's see. Uh, yeah. All right. So here's Keldon's remaining. So he get 20 and then it goes down uh, by the time he's 27, right, right around the time he's hitting his prime, which I'm pretty sure that's what he was banking on. Like, okay, I'll be hitting my prime around that time. And then, you know. He, he bet on himself and he's like, okay, they're going to have to give me a really nice contract. Now, I don't know if we continue uh, with Kellen at that point, but 10% uh, is uh, not, not bad. It's not bad. That, I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like this is pretty team friendly. And another thing too, hold on. Let's put things in perspective here. Uh, let's say NBA salaries, right? So if we go to NBA salaries and... I guess we can go to hoops hype, right? Um, okay, th this doesn't this doesn't help. Uh, I got to do NBA. Oh wait, wait, player salaries. Here we go. Okay, here we go. All right. So if we go down here, um, and you say because Devin Fassell is making about twenty nine, right? Let me double check. Yeah, about twenty nine, and then it goes to twenty seven. So we'll we'll see. We'll look at anything between like twenty six to 29 look at these players chris middleton is getting paid 29 this upcoming season which i think that most people compare devin fasel to chris middleton like that's what we're hoping he can become right is like a chris middleton player um oh big shout out to uh mark joseph for just uh subscribing to the channel um demar Derozan, 28 look he he does he's demar Derozan, so I'm, I'm not even going to try to compare that julius randall jordan pool which what was what was jordan Poole's stats last season i know people were really whooping on him last season man i don't think it was necessarily his fault um let's see he averaged a good chunk 33 percent from three 20 uh points per game not bad at all nearly five assists per game he, he pretty good um but anyways uh so jordan Poole, jamar uh, Jamari Grant, uh, Jeremy Grant, sorry. You know, but the one player where I'm like, you know, can we like not harp too much on the 29 million that Devin's about to make in this upcoming season? Kyle Lowry is making nearly 30,000, or 30,000, 30 million. He's making nearly 30 million. Um, you know, Jaron Jackson, Defensive Player of the Year, whatever. Uh, Tyler Hero. People really dog on him, by the way. <laughs> And it's crazy because everyone's getting paid more. How does how do the Spurs keep getting away with this? How do the Spurs keep getting away with this? As you can see, everyone's getting paid more as time goes on. Well, it's up for who is this? Kyle Kuzma. Not Kyle Kuzma. Or Cameron Johnson. Okay, I spoke too soon. But you can see Tyler Hero, he's getting paid 27, then 29, then 31, then 33. I mean, we literally have a diminishing contract for Devin Fassell. I had no idea that it was going to be a diminishing contract like this. This is huge. Um, 11 million in unlikely total bonuses is, is is nice too. Let me see what people are saying here. Oh, big shout out to Peter, by the way, for tagging me in this. Um, I just saw this, so big shout out to you, my boy. 
Um, he might be in the chat right now. I'm not sure. But let's see. Uh, someone said good contract. Someone tagged clan. I'm just kidding. Um, oh, this is someone comparing the Tyler. Yeah, I just brought up Tyler. Uh, but it says... Devin Fassell has played three seasons for the Spurs. He's averaged 11 points, 3.7 rebounds, and 171 regular seasons. Uh, has played four seasons. He's averaged 17.7, 4.9 rebounds. He won one six man of the year. Wait, what's the point here? I don't really think it's that big a deal. Hold on, let me see what this person says. Per usual, casuals don't understand that players are on defense as much as offense. Devin is in a different league in that respect compared to Tyler. Oh yeah, yeah, Devin Vassell is a much better defender, obviously. And, and it's kind of a casual thing too because I think people didn't necessarily pay attention to Devin Vassell. Like majority of his career with the Spurs, the first few seasons, first couple seasons especially, um, he took more on more of the like off ball role, you know, catch and shoot player, especially next to uh, DeJounte Murray. But then after, after that, this last season, he made a huge leap, like huge leap, I think. Um, he showed facilitation skills. His defense has improved somehow. Um, uh, he's, he's, he reads defenses way better. He's much more creative offensively. Like, I think that he was just being held back by DeJounte Murray. I'm just kidding. He wasn't held back by DJ. But you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. Like, I, I think that that's a, uh, it's a big deal. I don't know. I, I definitely think he's worth the money. I, I don't know what people are talking about here. Um, anyways, let's see. Such a good contract as usual by the Spurs. It's a ridiculously good contract. That's a value contract like Jaron Jackson. What are the unlikely bonuses? That's a really good question. Um, you think we can find it? Does anyone in the chat know? I don't think it's been revealed yet. And I feel like someone would have sent it to me by now. Let's see. We'll see if we can find it. If not, we're ending this segment. Let's see. Oh gosh, is this the athletic? Oh, it might cut me out. Oh my goodness. Wait, we can still read it a little bit. Oh my God. Guys, I'm not paying for that. Yeah, I don't know. We got a lot of televised games this year. People going to see. Oh, yeah, they're going to see. And he's going to get praised a lot. Um, I think him and Keldon are going to get praised a lot because they're going to look much better or even better next to um, our boy Wimby. We are definitely making a run from what I'm hearing in the recent interviews with the team. Uh, we'll get to that. We got an ABC game this year for the first time in five years, I think. Good God. Yeah, I don't I don't know what the bonuses are, but, um, you know, if we get more information on it and I think it's worth bringing up, we can do a separate video on it. But good stuff, though. I had no idea it was a diminishing contract. That's huge. Um, but hey, I mean, you I shouldn't have expected that the Spurs would have anything better or, or worse than than this. I wish we'd embraced the Fiesta colors. Okay, we're just talking now. All right, that was good. I'm cut. We're cutting the segment. We're, we're cutting the segment.